we're going to take a look at how Cloud Code makes it easy to develop for Kubernetes. To develop for Kubernetes, you need to set up Kubernetes configuration for your project, find how to efficiently iterate on your code on Kubernetes, and learn how to perform common development tasks on Kubernetes like debugging. But it can be challenging to master all the necessary config, slow and error prone to perform the repetitive tasks of building, pushing, and deploying images, and difficult to set up debugging against a Kubernetes cluster. That's why we built Cloud Code. Cloud Code is a set of development tools for Google Cloud that includes IDE extensions for Visual Studio Code and JetBrains IDEs such as IntelliJ. Cloud Code helps you author Kubernetes config with completions, linting, inline documentation, and code snippets. It automates the process of running and updating your code on Kubernetes and so much more that we don't have time to talk about it all today. To get started with Cloud Code, download it from your favorite IDE's extension marketplace. Let's take a look at Cloud Code for VS Code in action. We'll get started by using Cloud Code to create a new Kubernetes project. Cloud Code also works with your existing applications as well. First, select the Cloud Code menu from the taskbar and select New Application. Next, choose the language and template you want to use. I'll choose Node.js Hello World. Finally, Name your project and hit Enter to create it. Now that our project has been created, let's take a look at the Kubernetes config. Expand Kubernetes Manifests and select hello service.yaml. Since this is a starter application, the YAML is already here for us. But if it wasn't, you could use Control Space to view the available snippets for Kubernetes config files to create your own from scratch. Here, let's just see how Cloud Code helps add a new property to the spec. I can return to the next line and use Control Space again to see completions for possible properties. External traffic policy looks interesting. Let's take a look at that. Cloud Code offers inline documentation here and on Hover for all these Kubernetes types. After accepting external traffic policy, let's try setting it to none. It looks like I didn't read the documentation well enough. Cloud Code's linting is telling me I need to use cluster or local. Let's use cluster. Now that we've seen how Cloud Code helps manage your Kubernetes YAML, let's see how it helps you deploy to Kubernetes. First, we need a cluster to deploy to. Let's move over to the Cloud Code view. I went ahead and created a Google Kubernetes Engine cluster from Cloud Code earlier by clicking this button, but you can add any Kubernetes cluster, including local ones such as Docker or Minikube. To deploy, we select Cloud Code from the taskbar again and select Run on Kubernetes. I'll confirm the cluster I want to deploy to, confirm a default image registry for my Google Cloud project, and Cloud Code begins the deployment. It looks like the deployment has completed successfully, so let's take a look by command clicking the IP address shown in the output window. When we return to Cloud Code, we see that watch mode is on. That means I can make a code change and it will automatically be redeployed. Let's give that a try. I'll expand the source folder, select app.js and change hello world to hello devs and save the file. We can see that Cloud Code is automatically redeploying the service. And we can return to the web browser, refresh, and see the updated page. Let's see what it looks like to debug a Kubernetes app with Cloud Code. I'll go to the run and debug view select Debug on Kubernetes, and click the Play button. We see in the output that the debugger is attached. So let's set a breakpoint in the app.js file and reload the page. Now 
The breakpoint hit and we can see all the utility that we expect with a debugger, even with code running on a Kubernetes cluster. You just learned how cloud code lets you focus on writing code like you always have, and spend less time learning an endless set of new tools and technology just to be productive on Kubernetes.